Did you know that your liver is the largest internal organ in your body and one of the hardest working? It performs over 500 vital functions daily, including producing bile for digestion, breaking down fats, and removing toxins from your blood. But did you also know that liver damage is a growing medical concern with a rough estimate of 5 million Americans affected by liver disease? In this video, we'll discuss warning signs that could indicate liver damage and why taking them seriously is essential. You will also learn some fantastic liver functions and how to keep it healthy for a lifetime. So let's get started. Jaundice. Have you ever noticed a yellow tinge on your skin or eyes? That could be a sign of jaundice, a condition caused by high bilirubin levels in the bloodstream. Bilirubin is a pigment produced by the liver that helps break down old red blood cells. When the liver is damaged or inflamed, it can't process bilirubin properly, leading to a buildup in the body. This can result in yellowing of the skin, eyes, and dark urine. Remember, jaundice isn't just a cosmetic issue. It is often the first indication of liver disease. Elevated levels of bilirubin typically exceed 3 megdal. As the condition progresses, this can result in shades ranging from lemon yellow to apple green. Although, excessive consumption of carotene-rich foods like carrots and squash can also cause yellowing of the skin. This typically disappears after a short while. However, if yellowing persists or worsens, it could indicate liver damage. Be mindful of these changes. Early detection and intervention can save your liver from further damage. 2. Upper abdominal pain. Upper abdominal pain is a key symptom to watch for when it comes to liver damage. You can experience it with chronic liver diseases, particularly in those with hepatitis C virus, HD virus, HEV infection. Hepatitis C is a type of liver inflammation caused by a bloodborne virus. Infection can occur for various reasons like exposure to unscreened blood transfusions, unsafe injection practices, injection drug use, unsafe health care, and certain sexual practices. The virus can lead to mild to severe illness with potential long-term effects, including cirrhosis and cancer. A study comparing those with HEV to individuals with other liver diseases and normal controls found a significantly higher prevalence of upper abdominal pain over one month in the HIV group compared to the other groups. The study also revealed that those with liver diseases experienced worsened pain after eating, which was not observed in the standard group. These findings suggest that upper abdominal pain may be a valuable indicator of liver damage, particularly in individuals with chronic liver diseases. If you notice this symptom, seek medical attention, especially if you have other risk factors for liver damage. Taking action is the first step in staying healthy. 3. Too much estrogen. Excessive estrogen is a serious medical condition that can occur in those with chronic liver disease. With this condition, the liver cannot properly break down estrogen, a hormone usually present in males and females. As a result, the body has a surplus of estrogen, which can cause symptoms like palmar erythema. In this condition, the palms of the hands can become red and inflamed. You can also have spider angiomas, where small dilated blood vessels start to appear on the skin. The breast tissue in men becomes enlarged and tender, and the testes shrink in size. 4. Bleeding in the digestive tract. Damage to the liver can cause an increase in blood pressure in the portal vein, which is responsible for supplying blood to the liver. With time, this can lead to the formation of extra blood, vessels that function as channels to redirect blood flow under high pressure. These vessels can become enlarged and twisted and eventually extend into the lower part of the esophagus the tube connecting the throat and stomach that allows food and liquids to pass through. This can lead to the rupture of these vessels, causing bleeding in the digestive tract. If that occurs, you may encounter symptoms like vomiting blood, dark and bloody stools, reduced urine output, excessive thirst, dizziness, paleness, and a low red blood cell count, also known as anemia. 5. Swelling and discomfort in the abdomen. Liver damage may cause fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity, resulting in swelling and discomfort. This is called ascites. However, 
Fluid buildup is not exclusive to liver damage. It can occur due to various underlying medical conditions, including liver cirrhosis, heart conditions, and kidney disease. The sites may develop in advanced stages of cancer when tumor has spread to other organs. Cancer cells can release substances that cause fluid buildup in the abdominal cavity, resulting in ascites. In most cases, liver cirrhosis will cause ascites a chronic and progressive condition where the liver is damaged and scarred. Regulating the body's fluid balance is one of the liver's essential functions, and cirrhosis can disrupt this process, leading to fluid buildup in the abdomen. Long-term alcohol abuse is one of the leading causes of liver cirrhosis and ascites. Consuming alcohol in large quantities can cause inflammation and scarring of the liver, impairing its ability to function correctly. Cirrhosis also causes a shortage of proteins and a buildup of fluid, which can increase pressure in the blood vessels. When pressure builds up, fluid leaks out and accumulates in the abdomen. Other causes of liver cirrhosis include chronic viral hepatitis, fatty liver disease, and autoimmune diseases. Ascites can make eating, drinking, and moving around difficult as the abdomen becomes distended and uncomfortable. Patients with ascites often feel full and bloated, even when they haven't eaten much. The fluid buildup can also make breathing difficult, especially when lying down. In addition to discomfort and difficulty moving around, ascites can lead to complications, such as abdominal infections, which may cause kidney failure. Excess fluid can also pressure the abdominal wall, causing hernias in the belly button or groin area. 6. Nervous System Changes this can occur in people with advanced liver disease. When the liver is damaged, it can't remove toxic substances from the blood, leading to a buildup that can damage the brain and nervous system. In rare cases, it can cause impaired consciousness, changes in personality and behavior, confusion, drowsiness, and even coma or seizures. On top of that, you may even experience muscle stiffness or tremors, uncontrollable movement, sluggish speech and movement, and disorientation. The exact cause of nervous system changes due to a damaged liver is still being studied. Still, it's thought to be related to changes in brain energy metabolism, impaired neurotransmission, and the buildup of neurotoxins in the blood. 7. Itchy skin. Do you feel like you need to scratch your skin a lot? Those with liver disease can. Experience severe itching, especially at night. Itching usually can occur on them palms of your hands and soles of your feet, but can also affect other areas of the body. Doctors are still studying why itching happens. They think it might have something to do with bodily substances like bile salts, histamine, progesterone metabolites, and opioids. This itching can significantly reduce the quality of life for people with liver disease. Remember, the causes of liver disease can vary, but some common ones include viral. Infections like Hepatitis A, B, and C, problems with the immune system, inherited genetic conditions, and consuming too many toxins. Alcohol-related fatty liver disease is one type of liver disease that is caused by consuming too much alcohol. At the same time, non-alcoholic fatty liver. Disease, nefold, is caused by consuming too much fatty food. Unfortunately, rates of nafold are on the rise as more people become overweight and develop diabetes. Did you know you wouldn't survive without the liver for over a week? That's why it's essential to take good care of it. Here are some simple tips on how to avoid liver disease. First, be mindful of your alcohol consumption. Even small amounts of alcohol can damage your liver, so monitoring your intake is essential. Second, wash, produce, and steer clear of toxins. Pesticides and other toxins can harm your liver so always read the warning labels on your products. Third, take preventative measures to avoid hepatitis A, B, and C. These viral liver diseases can be prevented by getting vaccinated, practicing safe intercourse, and washing your hands. Fourth, be cautious about medications and herbs. Many drugs and supplements can cause liver injury, so it's essential to consult your doctor before taking any new medicines. Lastly, exercise and eat right. Maintaining a healthy weight and avoiding obesity is critical to preventing fatty liver disease. By following these simple tips, 
you can take good care of your liver and keep it healthy. Just like your body gives signs that your liver is in danger, it can also warn you if you have diabetes or prediabetes. Check out our video, 10 Warning Signs That You Are Pre-Diabetic. Are you at risk or don't ignore these 12 hidden symptoms of diabetes? Have you noticed any symptoms that could indicate liver damage? Let us know in the comments below.